All right, we've made it to a Friday. Happy Friday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Let's talk tropics and things are fairly quiet for the Texas Gulf Coast, but we still still have a little action in a few other areas. So I do want to tell you about a development that we had happen last night and this morning. Just as quickly as it popped up, though, it's already gone. We had a subtropical storm develop in the far north Atlantic. Very rare that you have any sort of tropical system develop that far north in the Atlantic, but it was Karen. So last night, this morning, we did have subtropical storm Karen form. Didn't quite have all of the tropical characteristics needed to be classified as tropical storm Karen, but it did have some characteristics, but it's already become post tropical, but that takes us up to a 11 named storms for this season. And of course, four of those became hurricanes and three became major hurricanes. Those major hurricanes were Aaron, Gabrielle and Umberto. So now the next name on the list is Lorenzo. At this point, no signs of Lorenzo forming and messing with anyone. But of course, we'll watch it closely. As I just stated, we now have 11 named storms. That puts us only three back from our average of 14 named storms for an entire Atlantic Basin season. Four hurricanes, that's three behind for our average of seven hurricanes and we are tied for our average number of major hurricanes. So we're getting there slowly but surely to those average numbers. We did have about a three week lull in the action where things are really quiet. We were starting to wonder, are we gonna see anything else this season? But September came, October, things picked up and things are still fairly active out there. So here's what you need to know about Tropical Storm Jerry. This is the tropical storm that we still have. It brought up to six inches of rain for parts of the northern Leeward Islands, especially around Barbuda, Antigua. So we did get some flooding issues there, but the good news, Jerry is pulling away from those northern Leeward Islands and it's no longer expected to become a hurricane. So it is forecast to be a weaker system as it gets closer to Bermuda. Here's the other good news. It should pass safely to the east of Bermuda over the next few days should not be a direct landfall, but they may get some outer rain bands, so maybe some brief heavy downpours. Of course, the waves will get a little bit bigger, but no major issues. So that is some good news. All right, I want to show you our satellite picture of post tropical cyclone Karen. This was our subtropical storm that developed last night and was still there this morning. But as of this afternoon, it has lost all of its tropical or subtropical characteristics. And you can see it there. You can barely make it out. But this is in the far north Atlantic. You can see Dublin over here and we've got Paris there so far away from us. So it was never going to be an issue for anyone. So post tropical cyclone Karen last advisory showing it with 45 mile per hour winds and moving to the north northeast around 16 miles per hour. So just as quickly as we said hello to Karen, we could say goodbye because it is already weakening and pretty much already gone. All right, tropical storm Jerry pulling away from the northern Leeward Islands. You can see Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico there. It shouldn't impact those spots too much, but like I said, in Antigua, St. Thomas, Barbuda, we did get some heavy rain and strong wind. It is now going to head towards Bermuda. We've got 50 mile per hour winds with this moving to the north northwest at 15 miles per hour. So that would take it fairly close to Bermuda. But look what happens after Sunday. It really makes a beeline to the east and then starts to move away from Bermuda. So no issue for the US, not a huge issue for Bermuda other than some bands of heavy rain. So good news with Tropical Storm Jerry. All right, let's hop over to the Eastern Pacific because we did have Tropical Storm Priscilla as of the last advisory. It is post tropical, but the remnant moisture, all of that tropical moisture has to go somewhere, right? And it is going to roll right up into the southwestern US. It's already doing that and places like Phoenix, Tucson are getting in on some of that tropical moisture and it is providing a high flood risk. Unfortunately, so you can see the flood watch here covering a big chunk of Arizona, the heavy rain rolling in from the southwest and we've got a level three out of four flood risk with all of that tropical moisture heading in this area. So if you are traveling around Phoenix, Flagstaff, Tucson, St. George, Vegas, plan on the potential for some tropical moisture and some fairly rare heavy rain and high flood potential. 
the good news for us, things are quiet. We're monitoring that Central American gyre. This is the system that could maybe spawn some tropical systems closer to us over the next few weeks, but nothing for us to worry about now. Water temps are warm in the Gulf in the 80s, but at this point, nothing to worry about. So we'll keep watching it, but I think if we don't get anything in the next week or two, it's a wrap most likely for the Texas Gulf Coast. But if we see anything of concern, we'll keep you updated and let you know.